Hello, baby viewers, welcome to your Who Views. And today I'll be reviewing Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, yeah, this is the third dead Deadpool movie, and yeah, it's good. Probably my uh, second favorite of the uh, Deadpool trilogy, but hmm. Anyway, uh, in this, Deadpool is going through a medic crisis. He's trying to uh, show a uh, Vanessa that he's good enough for him to try to uh, join the Avengers or the trying to show that he's special. Uh, doesn't really work and gets a job as a used car salesman. I mean, yeah, it does seem uh, happy when friends at uh, drama surprise a uh, birthday party. I am spoilers. But when the TBA from uh, Loki shows up and uh, just offers Deadpool to help them uh, do something. Since uh, the person that talked to him named Paradox that showed him what his uh, future is, but he tries not to tell him uh, like a torque railing his uh, head. Hmm. I guess in the for Secret Wars or something. Yeah. Uh, Deadpool he does that very excited and. Bring four walls as usual, but turns out a uh, paradox sort of to save the Deadpool's world since it's slowly dying because that uh, Logan or Wolverine uh, is dead. Uh, yeah, Deadpool doesn't want to lose his world, so he tries to bring Deadpool or Wolverine back, but just ends up using him. As human shield against the TBA members that are after him. And uh, there's a whole montage of him going to different uh, uh, Earths or parallel timelines, whatever, trying to find a, a new Wolverine to take his old, old Wolverine back. Actually, Dave Wilson said that Logan was like the universal uh, anchor for the Fox. Universe. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, you just find uh, a Wolverine that does have trouble with a tragedy, and then I find out he's actually the worst one. And I don't only one that that was so far that, that wears the Wolverine costume, so can't be that bad. Uh, Wolverine and Deadpool get uh, pruned to the void. Um, when they're there, they meet a lot of other uh, Fox, uh, or Marvel Fox characters, or Fox Marvel characters, whatever. Whatever they get, Chris Evans as uh, uh, Johnny Storm, what he snipes as uh, uh, Blade, Electra, Gambit, Lara. Uh, I like saying Lara. Mm. I also have a uh, as Drugnaut and Pyro uh, do some roles. And there's the secondary uh, a villain in this named uh, Cassandra Nova, Professor X's uh, the twin sister. Yeah, she basically uh, rules over the, the Void, the really sort of and Loki, but to put in here. And you get the uh, her mom's with Deadpool and Wolverine, they're just a uh, god and yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine together are just good since uh, uh, Wolverine can't really uh, take uh, Deadpool's yapping. But yeah. And it's a uh, good scene when they start fighting the uh, in uh, the car. And turn out there's a Deadpool core in uh, the void. And, um, yeah, one of the members is a uh, nice pool who uh, owns that uh, dog pool with that, uh, and that pool just renames her uh, Mary Poppins. 
Yeah. Later on, the Deadpool Wolverine got to a fight with the Deadpool core with a, is a good fight. The the moments or the violence in the Deadpool movies are usually very good. I I don't see the Deadpool movies as one of the movie franchises you could just turn your brain off to or have good co some good comedy. Yeah, that's a, a great. Well, I will say, I think they use uh, the too much uh, songs in the movie. Like, I get if it was just like a pattern or trying to get yeah, cover up the silence. But I don't think some of the songs actually fit in a the moment they're played in. But that's just my opinion. Let's see what Deadpool and Wolverine do. Uh, uh, get along and turns out the uh, paradox has this machine that can destroy universes since he thinks that TBA has gotten this soft since he just want the someone to keep an eye on a on a dying universe. Yeah yeah kind of know but does uh find his down wants to destroy every universe out there other than the void. Yeah, yeah. I think Cassandra is a bit of a better villain. Paradox just seems like a, a little bit of a comedic one, but not that funny. And they look like the scene where Wolverine actually talks to Cassandra down and see that said, "Let's uh, Wolverine and Deadpool go." And I also like the scene between the uh, Wolfie and Del Lara. I think it kind of mirrors. Uh, the scene that she had with the uh, uh, Prime uh, Wolverine and Logan a little. But, uh, that's just me. And I do kind of like they have that when he snipes a ice skate line from uh, Blade. Uh, let's wonder if they're going to bring him back at some point. He did say there's only one Blade. Ugh. I am, I am guessing that he just said did this as a favor to Reynolds, since Reynolds is also in the third the Blade movie. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And I do kind of like get up the paradox, try to tell one the other uh, uh, people in the TBA that he tried to stop Gagasar Nova from. Doing what he did, and um, the Wolverine and Deadpool or, or his uh, friends try to talk him out of it and see him as a hero. But yeah, they're alive. Spoilers. And uh, yeah, I wonder if, if he got uh, pruned or somehow somehow fire raised his memory or something. I'm kind of did that die. I guess and. The machine that destroyed universes was just too strong for her, but hmm. And I think the end credits scene is shown a uh, uh, Chris uh, Evans uh, Carson is just going like just seeing the guy as Captain America for years. You're really expecting to like get cross up a storm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I think it. This is probably uh, the most emotional that uh, Brian Reynolds uh, has been. As uh, Deadpool, like other times, he has been uh, like very emotional, but in, in this, he does seem uh, like a, a hurt a lot more, even more hurt than when uh, Vanessa was uh, killed. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, they do give it, like, a reason why, yeah, this uh, Wolverine that Deadpool brought over is more, like, get jaded or more, a little more angsty than the, uh, some of the other Wolverines. I don't want to say, in case it, nobody has seen this, but, yeah, you can understand why. And the same where... Cassandra uh, actually uh, got in his mind and tried to comfort him, and, and that's right. I think I'm trying to get him, get him on our side, but yeah, it's a trick.
Mm. Oh yeah, and the reaction Deadpool uh, had when he finds out that Magneto's dead. It's just great. <laughs> Did have that big, that big of reaction when he found out that Daredevil was dead, but yeah, still. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a, a very good uh, a movie. Had a lot of people uh, working on it. And Dan credits, I don't know if get Dan credits, saw some scenes of Deadpool, Wolverine, and uh, Jackman and Dan uh, Reynolds uh, talking about the characters or just talking about what they did on set. Yeah, that's a uh, good. And yeah, like I said, I think I'm guessing that Deadpool is going to sell for Avengers at Secret Wars. I don't know when that's going to be. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh, hope everybody else that see this movie thinks it's good as well. And damn funny and, and that, but let's wait and see how it goes. Hopefully they do make a lot of their money back, or there's a lot more than they had for, for their budget. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this is a good uh, start of uh, getting Marvel movies back in the public eye and people liking them again, but... Eh, who knows? Anyway, uh, that's it. That's it. See you guys later.